as you guys can see, I am currently not at home. I'm actually in Albury for work stuff. So I thought that I'd just film like in the hotel tonight, um, do a little bit like of a chat. I am gonna go downstairs and get some dinner first cause I'm pretty hungry, but I thought maybe I could go get like some chocolate or something. Oh no, I have some chocolate. I have some chocolate. Like have some chocolate and stuff afterwards in bed with the TV on and like have a little chat. But I did want to start this video tonight. It's not going to be like too much filming tonight, but this week um, it's a very exciting week. I have lots going on. So I just drove down to Albury for work because I have an event tomorrow. It's about six o'clock today. The event's at nine. So it was better than driving in the morning, which was the original plan. And then tomorrow morning, um, me and mum are actually getting the train to Sydney because we're going to see Trixie and Katya live in Sydney and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for like a year for this to come around. Originally Clancy was going to come but he's on his prac and it just kind of worked out that he couldn't have any extra days off so he wasn't able to come so I asked mum if she wanted to come with me. So we are getting the train down so that we can work while we're on the train and then we're going to go out for dinner, go to the show, then come home on the Friday on the train and then the Friday night I'm going ice skating with some of my friends. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to film a couple things because I have a very busy week. I'm extremely excited, but oh, also there's a gym here. It's very small. I had a peek through the window. There's not a lot of equipment, um, but I'm gonna make it work. Arms is tomorrow and I can kind of, it look like there were the arm exercises in there. So I'll make it work, we'll see. I'm gonna head down and grab some dinner. I'm not sure what I, I'm going to get yet um, because I don't have much money. I'm super excited. Okay, so let's go get some food. All right, so I ended up getting room service, um, but only because I thought that like, I thought that I was just gonna go downstairs and eat it, but then they were like, oh, do you want it to be room service? And I was like, like I kind of do want to eat in my room. But I didn't know that I could do that before. I've got room service. I've gotten lamb. Everything was so expensive, so it better be good. This was like one of the cheapest mains on the menu. Still like fucking $43. It better be good. But I'm gonna have this and watch the project. And then maybe we can take my makeup off. You do like a little get unready with me. Please don't judge me. Okay. But my mascara just doesn't come off with my cell water. Oh, my face is so white compared to my neck and chest because the tan that I put on it has come off. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can definitely see. My eye is like swollen and I don't know what happened to it. Let me take the rest of my makeup off. I don't think I'm gonna have a shower tonight because I'm just gonna get up and work out anyway. I do feel kind of gross though, so I'm not sure. Nah, I reckon I'll still have one. I mean, it's not my fucking hot water that I'm using here. It's the hotel, so I could have as many as I want to. Oh, I don't want, I might wash my hair um, tomorrow when I get home before Sydney. Um. Now, if I'm going to have a shower, do I do my skincare after my shower? That's the question. And I think the answer is yes, so. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys my eye. You guys can see that, right? Why is it swollen? Like, hurts to touch. But I also keep poking it. Also, does anyone else think their skin always looks so much better after they've taken their makeup off? I mean, it doesn't because of all this, but at least it doesn't have like cakey makeup covering it. I don't know. I'm going to have a quick shower so I don't feel gross anymore. And then we'll finish some skincare. I'm gonna have some chocolate and then I'll come back and brush my teeth.
Okay, just to remind how different my face is to my neck, like I mentioned before. The tan has come off my face. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to do for skincare. It's not a lot, to be honest. I'm just going to go in with the Ordinary Caffeine Solution and then the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Drops. And then after that, I've got um, a Locatan Eye Serum and then also a Locatan Eye Cream. This one's super thick. This one I think, I honestly, I use them together so I don't know what is doing what. Um, but this is like just really thick and nice um, around the eyes. So I really think that I like that one better. But like I said, I don't know what's doing what. So the other one could actually be better for you. But when I bought them, they're probably expired. When I bought them like over a year ago, they sold them to me to like use together. So I've actually only started using them recently. Um, but I'm almost finished. You guys can see how empty it is. Also, don't look at my tan. Ew. Um, but I'm also putting this on after the caffeine solution before the niacinamide and then this last. Um, don't ask me why. This just needs to soak in. So if I'm putting the niacinamide on the rest of my face, it just gives this time to soak in before I go in with the cream. Alrighty, and then I also finally bought some of the Eye Envy Eyelash Serum. I did read on the box, you're not supposed to put it on at night. And I have a feeling that's like, because it can go from where you apply it into your eye. Um, so I'm gonna put some of my eyebrows Again, I don't know if it would help with my eyebrows, but I overplucked them a while ago and they've just finally gotten back. Like when I say overplucked them, like they were thin. They were thin and I shaved the whole tail off. So I thought that I'd use this on my eyebrows as well. As you guys can see, they are back. It works on your lashes. Surely it'd work on your eyebrows as well. And a lot of eye serums these days are advertised as like lash and brow. Right, chocolate time. All right, so I went to the supermarket this morning because I had to get dropped off to work so that I was able to take the hire car home and not have two cars with me. So I <laughs> got dropped off. I didn't want to get to work at 8 a.m., which I could have, but I also had to travel and I only got here at six. So like that would be pretty big day but I still need to get dropped off so Clancy needed to take me but then he had to go to work so that's why I was so early. Instead of getting dropped off at work I got dropped off at the Woolworths and I picked up a whole bag of almonds which I had somehow finished entirely by 3 p.m. and then I got some more protein bars because I was running out um, which I'd already had one of and then I also picked up some chocolate and I thought that I'll try it. This is a well naturally no sugar added chocolate. I literally just picked it up on a whim. I don't know if it's any good. I've had it in the fridge, but you know, hotel fridges aren't very cold and I prefer my chocolate cold. So I thought I'll try it on camera. So it's got no added sugars, but it's still got 1.2 grams of sugar per serving and one serving is two pieces fuck well i just had two pieces so i'm gonna have another two pieces so i'm gonna have 2.4 grams of sugar <laughs> i mean this chocolate i'm gonna pay tomorrow i'm so excited all right so i'd be lying if i said i'm not gonna just sit here and eat more chocolate probably um but the hotel i'm staying at has uk tv so i'm very happy to sit here and watch all my British TV shows. Currently watching Taskmaster. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna be on Instagram while I'm watching it, eating some more chocolate. I don't know. I'll check in if there's anything else to check in about.
All right, so change of plan. I'm not going to use the gym because I got my period this morning and it's so, it hurts. <laughs> so I'm not going to work out. I mean, Wednesday is my rest day anyway. So it's not like I'm missing a day that I will usually go to the gym. Um, but I wanted to go today because I'm going to Sydney so early tomorrow and coming home from Sydney so early on Friday that I probably won't go on Thursday and Friday. So even though today is technically a rest day, I thought if I go this morning, I've gone three days a week instead of two days a week. And then it would end up actually being four days a week when I go again on Sunday. No, I woke up in pain. I don't really usually get period cramps. I usually just go to the gym anyway. But I also didn't know that I was, I don't track it. So I didn't know I was gonna get it, so I didn't have anything with me. So I'm gonna get ready so that I can go get some breakfast and go get something. But yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup really, well not really quick, because I have time, because I didn't end up going to the gym. So the event's at 9.30, so I'm thinking, like, I don't have to check out till then. Do I want to check out and then go and get breakfast and then go straight to the event? Or do I want to go get breakfast, come back, check out, and then go to the event? I'm not sure. So I need to decide. I'm gonna go get breakfast and come back just because I have so much time like I have two hours and I don't think it's gonna take me two hours to have breakfast there's only a couple places that are open like that open from 7 and not from like 8 8 30 so I don't have much like to choose from but I'm just gonna go to whatever I'm gonna go find some breakfast come back and then we'll try and check out and sort all this out all right so i literally completely forgot to take you guys to breakfast with me but i ended up having mushrooms on mushrooms on toast with a basil like paste thing parmesan and then like a truffle oil which was good and it wasn't that expensive either which is amazing yeah i'm about to head off i'm about to go check out and then we're gonna drive home so i might film some of the drive i am not sure but yeah, let's head home. Well, you know, you know what I mean. And now everyone dresses like men from the 90s. Yeah. Like that and jeans. Yeah. We're, yeah, pretending to hey. sincerely make something absolutely yeah. impulsive. Okay. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, Everything, okay. so your reality is going to strike and wake up people. No, I'm doing that now. I don't know what to take. Anyway, back to Jason Derulo and Will Smith. I'm taking her jeans and... Oh, Josh Peck is trending for Two different for jumpers and some shirts right for underneath. He's trending for... And a skirt for tomorrow night. Let's see. Not a skirt, a, my dress. You know my long Trending sleeve. Trending reveal. Uh, he's on someone's uh, podcast long, episode. Long one? Mm. Oh. But anyway, yeah, these people, these like yeah. macro celebrities who have you know, full leather jacket behind them creating content for their TikTok and Instagram. Just like skits. <laughs> Sorry. I agree. And I think the answer is it's geared towards people like my mom's age. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just leaking out of every orifice. No, literally. Like, I'm so... <laughs>
All right, so we arrived in Sydney a while ago. It's now three o'clock and I just finished work because I started at seven. Mum just went and had lunch with a friend and I'm gonna meet her, do some shopping, um, and then we're gonna come back and get ready. But yeah, I'm super excited because there is a Sephora here. And although I don't have much money to spend, we'll just see what they have because there are some things that have been on my Sephora wish list for ages. And it would just be nice to walk around. I don't know. We shall see. But then I'm going to come back and get ready. I'm honestly just baiting whether to wear a mask because I look gross. I'm just going to chuck on my puffer, head down. I'll take you guys with me. I will be on my phone. When we get back, I'll like get ready with you and everything. And then we'll go get dinner and go to the show. <laughs> lighting I'm in the bathroom but I'm home it's obviously quite a lot later now but I just wanted to check in because I didn't even like we were so tired after the show we just pretty much like got home went straight to sleep because by the time we got back it was like you know quarter to 12 kind of we were pretty tired and we just decided to go like straight to sleep but the show was really good it was super funny it was like really awesome to like see tricks and catch obviously like I love drag race but also all the stuff that they've done outside of drag race and it was really cool just like to have watched them and then to see them and like it not be like any different if that makes sense I don't know and the show was good like they made like fun of like some of the mess ups that they made like I don't know if the mess ups were intentional but like it was nice like when they made it when they went off script and made a joke they just like went with it and then that kind of went back to the script it was really funny if you've seen the show you obviously know what i mean a lot of inside jokes we had an issue with our curtain they have like a big curtain like screen thing um that's plays like little clips while everyone's like sitting and like waiting for it to be in and then it's supposed to like come down when they come on and ours got stuck and they were like trying to like yank it off obviously not the girls but like the production they were like trying to like yank the sheet off and it obviously got stuck on something um and so they came out and like kind of made a joke about the fact that that didn't go well yeah they had to like lower the lights to, to unhook it from the ground and then lower the um lift the lights back up but even like mistakes like that, you can kind of be like, that was unique to our show. That was something that our show had that no other show is going to have. Obviously, if they have that, that issue again, then other shows will have that. But hopefully not, but it's still kind of cool. Like, even though that was something that went wrong, because they made a joke about it, like, we got all those, like, jokes that not every other show was going to have because of it. We are about to head off and go to this disco ice skating thing. But I washed my hair when we got back, so it's really frizzy. So I want to straighten it, and then I'm going to put on some makeup. All right, so I've just finished getting ready, and we're about to leave. I'm just wearing something, like, pretty casual. I've got, I like, my Gymshark set on. Please don't mind the mess. And then just, like, a knit jumper over the top. So I'm going to wear this. Put on some shoes. It doesn't really matter what kind. My makeup, like, it is what it is. I got really annoyed with it before because I had to redo it. Yeah, we are off. Right. Hi. 